Are electronic vehicles really just coal-powered scams? Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. In this video, we're going to be discussing something I learned from our in-house energy expert, James Allen. But before we get to that, James, can you explain to our viewers what happened to you? Yeah, so I recently bought an electric bike. I've been loving the bike. It's been a great way of getting around the city. But I had a little accident uh, last week. I was enjoying the bike's turbo boost going at about 30 kilometers an hour, uh, braking quite hard to get to reach some lights, and the front wheel fell off, unfortunately. But here you are in one piece, so it couldn't have been that bad. Uh, luckily, by the time uh, the wheel fell off, I was going uh, not at a great speed. A bus was on one side of me. I went, I fell the other way, but I was fine. But it did mean I had to carry a bike and a front wheel uh, all the way home about a mile and a half, so it wasn't my finest hour. What did the people on the bus think? Did they all see you? I had a few laughs. Uh, no one jumped off the bus to help me, put it that way. Yeah, and uh, doesn't this prove that e-bikes are basically just a scam? Not at all, no. Up till then, uh, the bike had been brilliant. I've been sort of uh, zipping in and out of traffic. Uh, I'd been getting as much as sort of 10 pedal strokes more for my money. Uh, being, a, you know, the acceleration away from the lights. Other um, non-electric bike owners have been brilliant, especially around Richmond Park, which has been uh, fantastic. But aren't you really just powering your electronic vehicle and your e-bike with coal in the end? Aren't you just shifting the pollution to somewhere else? Yeah, that's complete nonsense. Um, um, uh, all electric vehicles, sort of naysayers say that, but there's no real truth in it whatsoever. Um, if you compare sort of ICE vehicles with uh, electric powered vehicles, ICE vehicles, um, all the heat loss is sort of uh, 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 distributed to millions of different vehicles on the road. It's really inefficient. If you had all the electric vehicles in the world fired by coal, and they're not, but let's assume they are, uh, if they were, uh, that heat loss would be centralized. It's far more efficient. Uh, not just that, I mean, you've got electric vehicles as a whole are. Uh, three times more efficient than um, than ICE vehicles. And really, but this is all beside the point, because the main point is uh, that at the margin, um, you've got uh, renewable energy coming on, coming on stream at a far faster rate than the amount of power demand from um, electric vehicles, basically. So at the margin, uh, in, in where uh, EV uptake is the greatest, which is in Europe, in California, and in China, um, if you buy an um, e-bike uh, or e-vehicle sort of, uh, tomorrow, it will be powered by green energy, solar and wind power, basically. Right, so the efficiency, efficiency gains of e-vehicles, electronic vehicles, is so much greater because of heat loss and also the amount of renewable energy coming online means that in the end they're a, bit, they're a better option or at least a valid option compared to ICE, which is internal combustion engines. Exactly right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so, if you, you know, just in the UK, there's no coal-fired power or very little coal-fired power now. Uh, so if you had a, an electric vehicle, it won't be powered by uh, coal, put it that way. And it's the same in, in most, uh, wherever sort of electric vehicles are, are, are gr growing at the fastest rates, it's the same uh, truth applies, basically. So if you hear someone say your electric vehicle is going to be powered by coal, you can shut them down straight away. And that's how to do it. But it's not just EV e believers. You call yourselves e believers, e -believers who, exactly. who are who are getting proven right by uh, by this video. It's also investors in renewable energy. Can you tell us about the chart that you wanted to show in this video? Yeah, right. Exactly. So, uh, like last in the last year, you've got uh, renewable power sources. You have an ETF. Um, and the iShares ETF, it's vastly outperforming the uh, Vanguard oil dominated uh, ETF in the States. Uh, it's been, it's, th this trend has been going for a little while, but it's really ramped up uh, over the, the last few months, basically. And it's a trend we think will continue. So whether you're an investor or a driver or a cyclist, eBeliever is the way to go. Certainly is, especially the e-bike's got two wheels. Thanks for watching today's Daily Blitz and tune in again tomorrow.